I am quite aware of that because I had Panamanian friends many years ago and I don't think it's sort of delicately on the subject. However, I don't think the Panamanian people, the man in the street, the average man in the street, really understands the history. It is possible that Panama may never have been created without his influence. Not only the canal, but the reason for the revolution was in order to have the canal in Panama and not Nicaragua. And the, the, the American president had, a, had a, the authority, if it did not succeed in Panama, to build it as a, an all-American canal in Nicaragua. And, and, and uh, Philip, well, you, know, you know very well the history, he signed the Ace Bruno Varela Treaty, and then he was your first ambassador to Washington. He had amazing contacts, and he, he was a very good lobbyist. And he signed the treaty, he virtually wrote the treaty, uh, he, and your first, uh, your first uh, constitution based on, on the Cuban constitution, and he assisted uh, your President Amador in, in organizing it. It was, a, it was very critical that the revolution happened when it happened. If it happened one month later, maybe it would never have succeeded. The Colombians would have come and just, you know, squashed everything, put everybody in jail, maybe who knows what.